If today you are seen, then it's another. That's why I feel like no other. We're going to do a quick garden update. Our potatoes are doing pretty good. I ran out of boxes and ran out of time to make boxes, so uh, I pretty much give that up. I'm just letting them uh, grow like they grow. Blackberries along the fence, um, they're growing, but uh, I got to get up there with the weed eater and I'm afraid I'm going to knock them down and I, it's kind of steep to hand weed. So. They're doing okay, but they'd do better if I'd weed them. Corn right here in the shade's doing okay. The three sisters thing with the cucumbers and the beans didn't do very good right here, but it's under a lot of shade. All this right here was uh, beans too. See, I got one little scraggly little bean. Most of this is because I didn't weed it. Some of that's because uh, um, it's in the shade, but most of that's my fault. Next year I'm going to run a raised bed down this end just like I did the back. Some flowers are doing real good. The wife is the most happy with these. She didn't even know I planted them. But I've got some sunflowers. And we're doing this with the Three Sisters thing too. And I've got some beans that have grown up the stalks, but we just harvested those. Got lots down here. The sunnier it is, the better my corn's doing, the better all those uh, Cherokee beans are doing. And uh, we've harvested some of these already. We're probably going to eat them with some steak for 4th of July. But uh, they're black beans. And uh, that's all doing pretty good. My loofah sponges died. Um, the container they were in, it didn't drain fast enough and they drowned. So I just dumped that out. My fruit trees are doing pretty good even though I got a beetle problem. I got to figure out an organic way of doing that. Well, not organic as much as something that won't kill my bees. And uh, we'll go around the back and we'll look at the rice because the rice is doing pretty good. While we're at it, see that uh, honey jar there, the little syrup jar? Trying to force them to make a little extra comb. I filled that thing up twice today. They just keep sucking it down. And I'll probably fill it up again because uh, trying to get a lot of extra comb going on. Here's my rice. And to tell you the truth, I don't know if that's good or bad because I've never grown it before. And I don't know how sunny it should be. This is about the sunniest spot in my backyard, but it's still not, not all that uh, bright. So that's all the stuff I'm growing pretty much or stuff that survived um, I'm not that good of a, of a uh, gardener which is why I'm trying it now doing okay with the animals doing okay with the little tinkering projects but man I can't seem to grow nothing which is why if you buy those little sealed jars of you know uh, millennium seed or whatever you want to buy that's all well and good but you better try it because uh, I've got those things and I can't grow nothing. So I'm trying to learn before I have to rely on it. So anyway, that's a little update on what we're growing. So talk to you later. I've got a plan fits my point of view. I'm getting 